So, the Atari box. This is something that's going to be coming out, and so I thought for those of you who do know about it, and those of you who don't, it might be helpful to make a video to discuss what information we we know about it, because quite frankly, it's pretty vague what Atari's been putting out, and <laughs> honestly, it's, it's kind of borderlining a scam. I hate to use that word, but I am excited and apprehensive for the system. The Atari box is going to be a computer-based console that is to release sometime, I believe, next spring. Now, they were going to do pre-orders for this system in December, but there were some issues and they delayed the pre-orders. All we know about the cost of the Atari box is that it'll cost anywhere from $249 all the way to $300, which to me is quite a lot of money like if i'm going to be dumping that much on something it better be like a switch or a playstation or an xbox because if i'm going to get something that's like the ouya of the past and for those of you who don't know an ouya was like a little android based developer system that was kickstarted and funded by everybody if i'm getting something like that i'm it's, it's got to have more than wood grain to to get me to spend three hundred dollars on it I will say I am a sucker for vintage video games and if this is anything remotely good, I will buy it. Now Atari promises that its old games of the past will make some sort of appearance on the system. Obviously from the looks of the pictures and the images of the Atari box, these aren't going to come in the way of cartridge based integration because well, you can't just plug in an Atari cartridge into that flat box that they show in the picture. There's no ports. There's no ports to do it. So my guess is it's going to be streaming based or it's going to be something you download. They have said that they want to create a streaming computer based system. So it's going to be something they want to take the PC sort of experience and bring it to your television. That's what Atari has been saying with the Atari box. So what some people have noticed is it's got USB ports. It's got, I believe, an HDMI port. I mean, it's got the standard little streaming box ports. And Atari knows the capabilities of this as well. They have said that they want to also bring media streaming over to it. So I would imagine it'd end up being something like a Roku, probably a stronger Roku that also plays Atari games. And hopefully indie developed games. I've heard and I'm pretty sure Atari has stated that they're working with AMD for this box as well, so it will at least have some sort of graphical power to it. Again, the specifics we don't know. Atari has not released the specifics for the Atari box. And quite honestly, aside from that, the only information I haven't revealed in this video is that there's just two colors to the Atari box. There's the classic wood grain, and then there's this black and red version. And honestly, if Atari is going to sell these things, they need to tell us what exactly is it. I hope the day that pre-order hits, they at least give us some more information. Otherwise, they're kind of just wanting us to blindly invest in this thing. And mind you, they're not using their own money. This is something that was a crowd-funded console so Atari is using our money to make this thing it's not like they're reaching into the pockets of cash they don't have because they don't have cash so they need ours anyways what do you guys think the Atari box is going to be I'd like to I'd like to hear your opinions because quite honestly this is all the information that's really out there and unless I've dug and missed things Atari, you got you've got to you've got to explain this a bit more. Anyways, this is Sam. Until the next video, I will see you guys later. Let me know what you think of the Atari box and whether you will be buying one in the comments below.